Welcome back to Noabayo. I said Pralit Saman. Today we are going to discuss about restriction enzyme. What is the restriction enzyme? Basically, they are also known as molecular scissors. Okay, and they have ability to cut at a particular sequence. Now, depending on what kind of restriction enzyme we are using, there are two types. Basically, mainly they are divided into first is exonucleases and second is endonucleases. Exo means outside. They cut at the outside region. That's why they are called as exonucleases. Endonucleases, as you can see, I have already drawn over here. And see, this is the strand, and they cut somewhere in between and not at the end. So that is the difference between exonucleases and endonucleases. Now, that was just the introduction to restriction enzyme. Now, restriction enzyme, as the name suggests, they restrict. At a particular site, they give a cut as they are called as molecular scissors, okay. And they are the base defects mechanism bacteria could have. So, if any foreign bacteria, uh, bacterial DNA gets inserted into a bacteria by say by uh, bacteriophage, okay, so that will be get trimmed, that will be get cut into several pieces by the help of restriction enzymes which are produced as a self defense mechanism by that particular bacteria. So, they are a part under defense mechanism now restriction enzyme do have a recognition site and a restriction site few restriction enzymes have a same recognition site and same restriction site what is the meaning of that they recognize this particular site and they cut in this particular region only so that is the same restriction site and recognition site few restriction enzymes have a particular recognition site they recognize okay this is the stand where i am going to this is so they recognize this and they cut at a particular region so that is a restriction site so they recognize over here and they cut over here so depending on that we have types of restriction endonucleases so there are three types of restriction endonucleases which we use generally restriction enzymes are basically derived from bacteria okay so depending on what is the genus, what is the family, what is the species of that particular bacteria and what was the order in which it was derived, depending on that name is given. So that is a nomenclature which we are going to talk in the next lecture. So this is just to give you an overview of restriction enzymes. In next videos we are going to talk about it in brief. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.